to pick you, please don't shout at me and say you shouldn't pick me, I don't like you anymore, because to be honest, you are going to be safer not to be up here. The reason being, all the other carnival ships, we do it a little bit different on here than all the other carnival ships, because I've been with carnival around nearly seven years now, and when you do these, you know, the same sort of thing each week, and something happens, I say stupid things at times, so I don't think... Right then, uh, let me have a look. Right, anyone been married about, I don't know, 10, 15 years, 20 years? If you do, stand up if you'd like to be up here, we'll have a look around. Let's... If you want to be up here, you'll have to stand There you go. Okay, hey, thanks. And just for filming this, we're going to get free pizza. <laughs> Absolutely honest. You must put the truth down. Okay. So, uh, now listen, if these match up, if the answers match up at the end, we give them a great big yippee like this. Oh, come on, all together. Come on, yeah. If you don't match up, it's a... Then it's as simple as that. Right, question number one. Where and when did you first meet? The year and the place. The year and the place you first met. Was it walking down the street? Was it in a bar? Was it a school? College? Was it a blind date? And the year as well. <laughs> right then, that's the easy one out of the way. Right then, question number two. Uh, there's going to be two parts to this question. The first part of the question is the very first time you kissed each other. The very first kiss you shared, how good was it? We're going to ask you to, to rate it, to mark it out of 10. Right? Now, if it was fabulous, out of this world, your knees were weak, give it a big 10. Right? If it really sucked, give it a 1. Or, or somewhere in between. Need to mark it, mark it out of 10. Marks out of 10, just rate it out of 10. 10 is good. One is bad. No, you can't go minus one. You just have to like, no one's the lot. You've got to be in between one and ten. Ten is high. It's like in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Just pick one of those numbers. How good was the kiss? If it was a fabulous kiss, it was a ten. If it sucked, it was a one. <laughs> now, she didn't put that. I'll let you know it's now. <laughs> we need to mark it out of ten. The kiss. If it was a great kiss, give it a ten. If it was a bad one, give it a one. There you go. <laughs> She's going to love you. All right, then. <laughs> You're digging your own grave here. And we're only on the second question. No, you can't change it now. No. No. You can't change it, can you? No. <laughs> Alright, and the second half, the second part of question number two. Second part of question number two. If you could change any part of your partner's body, what would it be? If you could change anything about your wife's body, what would it be? If you could change any part of his body, what would it be? Oh, damn, okay. Just <laughs> put two of them down. <laughs> that way you can tell what they are. <laughs> You're in trouble twice. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Right then, question number three. Uh, no, I'm going to tell you what you put first. I'm going to tell her. That's the best yeah, I am, yeah. No, told you it's safer down there than up here. It's not lovey dovey game, this. This is, this is real. Right then, question number three. Gentlemen, if you went shopping for your wife, say it's, it's a birthday or it's your anniversary, and you want to surprise her with something different, and you're walking through the shopping mall all on your own, and you pass that stall of Victoria's Secrets, you know, the one with the ladies' lingerie and everything, 
Another one me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And you walked in on your own, and you think, I'll buy her a bra. What size bra do you ask for for your wife? <laughs> in other words, gentlemen, what size bra does your wife take? I'll give you a clue. It's not small, medium or large, it's a number and a letter. And ladies, write down what size you take, because we want to see if he knows. There you go. Close. That's the first three you've got wrong. I'll give you a clue. That would not fit a Barbie doll. <laughs> that would be tight on Barbie doll. You can't change it now. No, no, you can't change it. You've got to leave it now. <laughs> ladies, help the guys out. You, you know when you, you don't, ladies, I don't know, I'm a man, but ladies, help us out. When you buy a bra, it's like, if it's like 36, 38, that's like the circumference, isn't it? Like, the, yeah. like your belt if you went like around there. So what do the letters mean? <laughs> what? <laughs> like, just, just stand up a moment. <laughs> I just turn around and show everyone what cup size means. <laughs> I'm glad you've done that. I'm glad you've done that because see, see, see that young lady up there? That's Jules, that's our old girl visual manager. She's filming all this. Right? So you're going to be on TV later going like that. It's going to be on TV later, we've got a little finale after this, and we'll leave this You can watch it if you want to, you can buy a copy of it. Yeah, you... <laughs> right then, question number four. Ladies, a question for you about your husband. Now, be open, be honest with this. What's your husband... <laughs> can't get over that. <laughs> What's your husband's most filthy is habit. The most filthy, disgusting thing he keeps doing and he won't stop doing it. You don't want him to do it, you want him to stop doing it, but he keeps doing it. It's filthy and disgusting. And gentlemen, you write down what your most filthy, disgusting habit is. Now we need an answer for this. Don't hold back, put it down. Oh, he does that as well. Okay. She knows what you do. There must be something. Oh, he does, he does it as well. There you go. Oh. She knows what you do. It's a, it's a filthy thing you do all the time. In the it's worse than filthy eyes. Right, then, question number five. Um, let me think. Okay, last night. Question number five is about last night in the cabin. When you were cuddled up last night in the cabin, maybe you pushed those two beds together and fell down the middle. You know, like this. <laughs> or you say, good night, good night, because you're on bunks, it makes no difference. So that, last night in the cabin, how, how romantically passionate was last night? How no, don't draw pictures. I'll give you a choice in a minute. Go. I'll give you a choice of three. Just picture last night, how passionate it was last night. Was it like A, the 4th of July fireworks, fabulous nights of passion and love, the night to remember? Was it like B, Thanksgiving, sleeping next to a turkey? <laughs> or ladies, was it like C, Memorial Day? <laughs> Just lying there. Now this time,
Would you like him to do it again? Okay, there you go. Eric, thank you, sir. That was great, sir. Thank you. Oh, great. Thanks, thanks. And uh, where are you from, Eric? Are you from Russia? Chicago, Illinois. From Illinois? Yes, a bit warmer down here, as you can imagine, isn't it? So, what do you do up there in Illinois when you're not taking your clothes off? Uh, I'm not taking my clothes off. I uh, work for SPC. SPC, that is... Uh, Western Bell Corporation. Oh, right, it's a telephone company. Okay, right, so you ever, you ever do it half naked? You ever, no? Um, just about. Just about. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Steve, thank you, sir. That was a surprise. That was a surprise. <laughs> just before you came out, just before you came out, she just went, you look like a deer in headlights. <laughs> That was great. Where are you from, Steve? New Orleans. Oh, from New Orleans. So that's far away. How long have you been married? 11 years. 11 years. Great. So what are you doing? Uh, he's airy, isn't he? Looks like a Chewbacca or Star Wars. I know, I know. What do you do there in, in New Orleans? It's not too far away. I'm a state trooper. <laughs> No, we're friends, aren't we? <laughs> we could pretty much recognise each other and we could be bumped into each other again. If I was out, I'm not sweaty now. <laughs> if I was ever driving in, in Louisiana and you, I was going too fast and you, you passed me, you, you wouldn't like give me a ticket, would you, after this? I'd take a long, hard look at it, Bob. Well, they didn't copy the tape with me. And I'm like, I just kept it. Just, I'm going to do